Welcome back to the City Current Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference, empowering the good, and we love talking about music and helping veterans, and in this case, those worlds combine. And that's why we're honored to be talking about songwriting with soldiers. We're honored to be joined by Jay Clementi. He's the music director with Songwriting with Soldiers. And just for a little background, Jay wrote Luke Bryan's number one song, Move. His songs have been recorded by Dirks Bentley, Martina McBride, Darius Rucker, and so many more. And so, Jay, how are you doing? Jeremy, I'm really good, man. So good to see you. And nice to finally meet you. Heard a lot about you. And uh, thank you so much for, for having us on here, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely. And so we're going to have a lot of fun conversations when you talk about being able to help veterans and also to use music and art creativity to heal. And so let's go ahead and dive in. When you talk about songwriting with soldiers, give us some background on the organization. Yeah, well, songwriting with soldiers it originally started as sort of an art project and in 2011 and there was a gentleman named Darden Smith and his really good friend from uh from high school named Mary Judd and uh Mary was sort of an expert in positive psychology and Darden was was a, a very accomplished songwriter and artist and uh and they uh they got together and and sort of created this th this program I mean they just again they just kind of they called me and a and a gentleman named Radney Foster and uh, we were the first three songwriters and we just did this thing on a whim and just tried it out. And, and we had some connections. It was in Colorado and we did the first one and it wasn't even called songwriting with soldiers at that point. It was, it was the very first one. We didn't know what was going on, but from the very first song, that very first morning, we knew that there was something really, really special. Like we had, you know, we, we write the songs and then, and then you play in that evening at a concert. So you write the songs and, and, and you play them. They're very fresh. You know, we, now we, we kind of call it a song taking its first breath, you know, and with all the bumps and bruises on it, but but the heart of it is there, and and uh, and we just we realized it was it was something was really really special, and uh, so yeah, it started officially started in 2012. So yeah, we celebrated our our uh, our 10th anniversary last year, which was which was great. We had some concerts and and uh, but it was wonderful, and and it's been a, a such an amazing part of my life, you know, for for you know 11 years. So it's it, it's been great. When you look at the process, and as you mentioned, you know, you, you come in and there's a, a special moment in terms of coming together, getting the story, writing, and then performing. Talk about the process and how the magic works. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it, you really have to, if you talk about the magic of just the songwriting it, itself is one thing, but I think it's the way it's set up. You know, with, with, with our retreats, we, you know, we, because we, we, we pair professional songwriters with veterans and their families and and we do that at retreat centers all across the country and, and we hand pick these retreat centers for uh how, really honestly how how beautiful they are and how how accessible they are but they're always in these beautiful places and and mary judd who who started this program she she thought it was really important uh for for us to hold these retreats in a beautiful place it, it helps open these people up and then you know we have facilitators that that when they're not writing songs they're doing they're doing strengths workshops and, and creative writing and meditation and do all, all doing all that kind of stuff. That's, that's kind of opening them up creatively. So when the songwriter gets them, they're really in a wonderful place to kind of open up. And uh, you know, they, and, uh, we say this all the time, you know, we're, we're not therapists. We're not the songwriters that we hire. We look for a we, some certain traits in the kind of songwriters that we get. It's very specific. And, but it's, they're, they're storytellers and their job isn't to fix anybody or anything. They're just sitting across. They're really good listeners. They have a lot of empathy and, and they, they know how to get outside of themselves. They're all artists. They're all, you know, seeing most of them had record deals and number one hits and all that kind of stuff, but they, and they're all singers and performers. But when they sit across from these folks, it's, they're just, they're just getting their story out. That's just a piece of their truth. That's all, that's all we, we try to do. And we always say that there's, you know, when we sit down, like there's, there's a thousand songs in you, but I just, I just ask you to trust what's in the room for these next two hours, two and a half hours. And, and we're, we're going to see what comes out. Cause I, I really think it could be something, something beautiful. And let's just see. And it's, and again, they're in a wonderful place because they're at this wonderful setting in, in Colorado and Virginia and Sonoida, Arizona. And, and it's just in, encompassed in, in these beautiful places and great food. And we have, you know, 
so, you know, we have Pulitzer Prize winning photographers there. We have professional sound engineers. So it, everything's really set up and focused on them having the best experience they possibly can and opening them up creatively uh, as best we can as well. Let's take this in three parts because I think there's there's a lot of special moments with the songwriter, obviously with yeah. the veteran, and then with the audience. And so let's take those in pieces. What does it mean for the songwriter? What sort of feedback do you get from them working with the veterans? I mean, to to a person. I mean, we, we have an amazing group of songwriters that, that do a lot of work with us. I mean, folks, folks from Radney Foster, Gary Burr, Georgia Middleman. Uh, Mary Gaucher, Danny Myrick, Mark Nessler, f- f- folks like like that that have that are that are staples in in uh, in in the songwriting world and artist world. But they all say that this is their favorite thing to do. I mean they 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 say that they get more out of it than the than the soldiers do. And it's it, you know and when the, we get the feedback from the soldiers and I know what's going on with them and it's a it's you know it's 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 uh it a lot of times is the catalyst for some life-changing things, you know, in, in their life. And, and just cause we've been told that so many times, that's, that's how we know. And it's, um, I think it, it makes you look at songwriting different. I, I think we're all changed as songwriters having, you know, having sit next to, you know, right across from someone and getting outside of yourself. We've already mined the depths of our soul for all these songs. We're trying to pull out of the sky, making them catchy, making them, you know, really fresh and, and, and different. And, but it, all you have to do, is what they're saying is the right thing. If you listen hard enough, th- they're telling you. And so many times, like I, we don't overthink it. And we have two hours to write the song, basically, and all these, or two and a half hours to write the song in some of them. And so you, you got to get to it. And, and so if you really listen, and there's, there's things coming out and we're just putting the piece, you know, we're putting the pieces of the puzzle together. That's what we're doing. So on the, on the writer's side of things, um, on the participant side of things, you know, I've become really good friends with, with so many of them. And, you know, and a lot of the writers have, I mean, they, you know, I get notes from the writers all the time that say someone from, the, from, you know, this retreat came out and saw them at, at one of their shows. And, and, you know, I know that it's a, it, it's a community that, that, that needs some help. You know, they, they, they're, uh, they're this an amazing community that, that is hurting and, Well, I've, you know, I've personally, you know, heard, I had one gentleman come up to me and he said, I've, you know, he was after, you know, I I just didn't want to let you down. He goes, I I still had thoughts of suicide. He said, I didn't want to let you and Darden and Mary, he goes, I I didn't want to let you down. And when he told me that it just, it, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. And uh, so anything, anything that, that that we can do to help that, you know, I I know that there, there was a number of, you know, I think now it's, 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 uh, it's just astronomically high the, the number of folks that, that actually take that take their life in, in the veteran community. And there's just so many reasons for that. And, and uh, all we, again, all we try to do is sit across from them and, and help tell a piece of their story and, and, and really listen to them. And then, you know, there's something powerful about witnessing that when you're, when you're playing it, cause we play a concert that night. And so all of their, you know, it's a really close, you know, it's a close circle of folks that it's just our crew and the other participants, but it's something it's really powerful to get that, you know, just that mirroring affirmation and, and it, it, it can change neurological pathways. I mean, I've, I've found that out. I didn't know that, but I've, you know, we have specialists that we work with that have told us that. And so if, it, so it's, it is, it is a powerful program just, just by them sitting there and listening to the other participants stories, they can see themselves and hear themselves in these songs, let alone their own songs. So, there's some amazing things that, that happen at, at these retreats. And I, I'm, I'm just so blessed to be a, a part of it. And I, I, I became the, the music director uh, about three years ago and, and I, I truly love it. It's, it's, uh, it's my favorite thing to do. Talk about for a veteran, so many internalize it. They don't want to share what they've gone through, especially with family and friends and outsiders who, you know, it's one thing to have the support network inside the military because they can better understand each other and what they've gone through, just like you're sharing, but externally they, they keep it inside. They don't share it. Having a song that allows them to open up to say, Hey, this is my song. This is what I went through. These are the emotions that I'm going through. Talk about how that creates a healing journey for their family and friends and the, the outsiders to be able to help them open up. 
Well, I think it's really hard for, for people to kind of, for them to open up and, and just talk about their feelings. I, I think just inherently the way that they were trained, you know, not, not to show weakness and, and, and that kind of thing. But I mean, th this was originally kind of built to, to sort of bridge the gap for civilians uh, and, 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 and military folks. And it, it, it does kind of bridge the gap, but, but there's, I really think that it's when, when you give them a, a tool, which is basically a song that they can, if they, they may not want to, tell somebody how they're feeling or they, they, they may not want to go through all the emotion of it, but they might say, Hey, play the song. That, that's, that's kind of how I feel. And, and that's a beautiful thing. And then I, I think that's, that, that's sort of empowering to have that in their hand. Like after, afterwards, after we write the songs, a lot of times I'll say, who needs to hear this song the most? And they go down and they'll say, my wife needs to hear this thing. Or my kids need to hear this thing. And there's people in their life that need to hear it. And we at songwriting with soldiers, we really talk about like the ripple effect of creativity and, and, you know, all that matters is that when you're sitting across from that artist or from that participant and they, they become songwriters at, at that moment, but all that matters is that you're connecting with them and you love what, what you're creating. But when you're doing that, when two people are sitting across from each other and, and, and you're, you're, you're bringing their, their, their stories and, and of course, you know, we're crafting the melodies and the chords and the words and all, all, all that stuff together. It's, it's this, it's this powerful piece of, of art and, and it, it goes out and reaches folks and you never know you, you I hear I hear folks you know playing it these guys we wrote the, the very first retreat we did those guys were saying that they, they were playing it before they went into battle they were playing the song before they went into battle and that's that's what they and it was a you know they're they're very uh kind of sparse recordings you know our, our engineers there and we record them live you know right after we right after we write them but these guys are you know they're, they're being played all over the world these these songs and but but most important, I think it's it's where they're you know the, the most important place that they're being played is in their home. You know, I really do. I think it's there's a lot of things that 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 come out of that 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 is really healing in in their home life because they all want want to be they all want to be better at at that. You know, and uh, and if we can be a, a, a you know a piece of that, it's just a it's a special thing. You can't pick a favorite. That's impossible. But. Pick a special moment for you in terms of going through the process, writing a song. Give us a give us a story. You'll illustrate this, and and you don't have to use obviously specific names, but just sure. give a special moment. Yeah, and and I think it, it kind of uh, sort of ties into to what we just talked about a little bit. Is you know when we're sitting there with these folks, we are we are in this amazing position, and we don't we don't take it lightly. I mean, we're so grateful to be in in, the, in this in this position, but. I can't tell you how many times we've heard, Hey, I've never told anybody this. So that's happening a lot. And, and the gravity of that, if you think about it, it's like, you better have your game on at and be really listening hard for what's going to happen. And I think, you know, I, I have personally have so many songs that over the years, you know, I, I saw a little note that there was 80, but there's, there's over 80 that, that I've personally written with, with, uh, I think it's over a hundred that I've written with, with us, you know, with, uh, participant with, with veterans and and first responders but i mean I, I think one that kind of sticks sticks in my mind there's uh again it's too many to count but there was one in particular that these gentlemen were there's there a, a fellow named pk kelly and and he's a, a wonderful guy and we were at a retreat in sonoda arizona and he and his buddy had uh they they had i had just written a song with him and but he he they approached us about trying to write a song um for their buddy's son they, they had a really good friend that that uh, he was like the team a team leader from delta company and he uh he passed away and uh this was this was about you know seven years later and uh his their, their best buddy's son was 18 months when when he passed so you know i didn't know how the kid was about you know about eight years old and they, they wanted to try to write a write a, a note from dad to son and uh it's called daddy's son and that that one really, really stuck, you know, has stuck with me over the years. And I, you know, I, I play it out. Um, and it's a, it, it, it's a, it was an, it was an amazing story, you know? Um, and, uh, and I know that they've played it for, um, for this gentleman's wife, you know, that's, and, and also, you know, Braden has that note from his dad, you know, has a, has a note. And it's just kind of all the things that, that his, uh, that they thought that the dad would have wanted to tell him basically is, is what the song is about. And, uh, so it's a, it, it, I was just honestly just so honored to be a part of that. And, 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 and so many, there's, there, there's just so many. And one of the nice things is, I mean, anybody can go on. We really don't have 
songs streaming or any of that. That's never been our focus. We've kind of had our head down doing the work and we're not putting music. We haven't put music out. That may come down the line, but all of these songs, except some of the, the um, some of the ones that are, that are a, a little more uh, that we can't talk about quite, quite as much with, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a delicate, it's a delicate thing with certain group of folks, but most of them are on our website at, at songwritingwithsoldiers.org. You can go and you can pick, um, just go, go to the song search or you can go to an artist, you know, one of our, one of our songwriters and it'll pull up a bunch of the songs that they've written. You can go to the different, um, it, it has the different retreats. You can go to the different retreats and, and they can stream those songs and, and really check them out. So I would encourage anybody that's listening to this just to go to songwriting with soldiers.org and, 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 and look at it and see what we do. And, and you can listen to the songs and they're, they're, they're broken up into, into categories and stuff too. So it's, it, it's nice. I, I think, I think, you know, you, you can get a sense of what we do for sure. So how can the community help songwriting with soldiers? Yeah, well, I mean, we're always, you know, we're, we're, a, we're a nonprofit and, and we have, we have, we have a staff of folks that really work hard. You know, we, we're going to write with, with over a thousand veterans just this year. So our songwriters, our group, well, we will work with over a thousand veterans and some first responders um, just this year. So we have a lot of moving parts. We have folks flying out. We really do. We do these two programs. One is, is called the warrior path. And then we do our, our retreats, but we've got folks flying out all over the, all over the country every week. So it, it's busy and there's lots of behind, you know, behind the scenes, lots of, lots of wheels turning. We have an amazing executive director. We have a great board that's, that's nationwide. And, uh, but we, you know, we need funding and it's, and that's, that's part of the thing. And, and uh, we, uh, we're, we're appreciated so appreciative of, of any, anything that, that we get. And we, and we put it to the, to the best use, you know, that we know how, and it's, and it's, and it's doing this work and doing these retreats and, and uh, you know, finding, finding writers and folks that have, have the passion for it. And uh, we've, it, it's been a success so far. Well, Jay, tell everyone where we can go to learn more. So website, social media, how do we reach out and connect and start supporting songwriting with soldiers? Hey, buddy, I think the best thing to go is songwritingwithsoldiers.org, but we're on, you know, we're on Instagram and, and uh, we've got, we've got a Facebook page, a, a pretty big Facebook page and lot, lots of folks, you know, get on that. And, and, uh, and we have, and we, again, we have a great staff in Nashville. You can call anytime. Um, we have some amazing folks that, that really work hard and that have such a great heart for this. So I, but I think a great start is, is songwritingwithsoldiers.org. You know, just, just go to our website and it has all that information there. I think that would be the best place. I really do. We'll make sure everyone get involved. Songwriting with Soldiers, songwritingwithsoldiers.org. Jay, thank you for all you and your amazing team do. Thank you for coming on the show. Hey, man, thank you so much for having me. Really, really appreciate it, buddy. So nice to see you and really good visit with you earlier, too. <laughs>